What's going on everyone? My name's AJ and today we're going to be reviewing the Uniqlo Stadium Jacket in Navy. I got this jacket from Uniqlo Direct for just about $80 and it did come in another colorway, this light gray colorway, which is basically the same jacket, just slightly different color. It came with two tags in specific. This first tag is just a care label tag where it says care and it just has some care instructions on the back. That same care label is basically what you see on the inside left of the jacket. So the care label that you usually see in all the other garments has the fabric content, where it was made, and how to care for your jacket. I personally wouldn't machine wash or machine dry this. I'll probably dry clean it. And it did come with this other tag as well, which is the typical Uniqlo tag, where it just has the logo, it says stadium jacket, has a bunch of the fabric content. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but it is a mixture of polyester, spandex, and also rayon. It has some barcode information, the size, and also the price, which is just about $80 or $79.90. If you want to be specific, no, but. <laughs> so Uniqlo considers this jacket to have a lot of premium fabrics, whether it be the navy chest or the imitation leather sleeves. And the imitation leather is also an accent on the pockets. And this jacket has a total of three pockets. It has this leather lined pocket on the left and the right side, and also another pocket on the inside left. So three pockets in total. There is some rib knit, which is on the collar of the jacket, the sleeves of the jacket, and also the hem of the jacket. And along with that navy chest, the back is also navy. And there are seven total buttons. And on the inside, where it just has a Uniqlo logo in all black, this piece where you could hang it on a coat rack, and also a small denotion of the size. In this case, I got a size medium and it says made in China. And lastly, the inside of the jacket is a polyester lining that is quilted. So as far as the sizing and the fit, this jacket is considered unisex by Uniqlo, but I personally think that it's gonna look a lot more oversized on a woman compared to a man, because on my body, it already looks pretty oversized. I'm about 5'9", 180, and this still fits a little bit big on me. Not necessarily too oversized, but not too fitted. It's kind of true to size, so I did get this in a size medium. And even if you look at Uniqlo's product images, on the woman, it looks super duper oversized, and on the man, it looks a little bit big but still true to size and personally i would wear this exactly how the model wore it on the uniqlo.com website with a turtleneck that's more of like a business casual or casual fit but this jacket is definitely on the more oversized or relaxed fit side so i definitely wouldn't dress it up too much you can but it's probably more of a casual occasion wear as far as this outerwear jacket piece goes. And personally, if I bought this one size higher, if I bought this in a size large, it would look way too oversized for my liking. And if I bought it in a size small, I guess it would work, but personally, I think I picked the right size. I would probably wear it a lot more dressed up because it would look more form-fitting, but it would still probably fit regularly. This one, the size medium is perfect for my dimensions. And the reason why I say this size medium is perfect for me is because I could wear a t-shirt under it, but I could also wear a hoodie under it. So this is me trying to put on the jacket. I look like one of those inflatable wavy things that you see at the used car dealership, but in all seriousness, I try to put this on. Make sure you could try it on and actually put the sleeves on like you didn't have trouble like I did for some reason. I was wearing this hoodie and it fit me pretty well so I had a lot of space for movement. This jacket wasn't too tight even with a hoodie on and I was wearing the t-shirt really really comfortably under it. It isn't too warm but I think it's perfect for the fall season or even some winters but you'd probably have to be in like California not really like some crazy climate. And here it is with a t-shirt and like I said earlier here it is with the hoodie. I personally like both looks. I think this jacket looks super sleek especially with the leather details and that tonal details that you see from the navy. And that goes into my first pro. This jacket is super stylish. At just under $80, you probably wouldn't think that this jacket costs that much. You would think it costs a lot more. And I think that the tonal nature of it, meaning the colors, how it's all just two colors, whether it's black or navy, make it look really sleek, stylish, and easy to wear. You could wear it with almost anything. And my second pro is that this jacket looks really luxurious. I know that a lot of people are gonna say that the imitation leather isn't the highest of the quality, but at just under $80, if not at $80, this is probably one of the best imitation leather varsity jackets that you could probably get on the market. The silhouette of this jacket mimics a lot of those jackets that you see in a lot of designer or luxury or really expensive jackets. For example, like the Saint Laurent Teddy jacket. This is basically a carbon copy of that, but just for the masses using polyester, some cheaper fabric and a more simplified design with less luxury touches. And like I said earlier, this jacket is pretty sleek and versatile. So you could not only wear it just for fall and winter, but you could probably wear it in some summer nights, some spring evening, it's like a piece you could keep in your closet for a long time rather than just have it as a trendy piece. It's really muted colors. 
super sleek, easy to wear. So it's not like you're gonna have to sell this piece or have some buyers regret. And my last pro is that this jacket is super affordable, under $100. If you try to find the jacket with this kind of quality, this kind of style, it's kind of hard to find. I can see myself wearing this jacket a lot. And if you really, really want a discount, you could sign up at uniqlo.com as a first time user, probably get like 10% off. So you'll get this jacket for maybe like, I don't know, $75. But if you go through all those methods, it's still a great affordable jacket, whether you get the discount or whether you just get it at regular price. And my only con with this jacket is that it is just so, so quality. It's not necessarily subpar, not necessarily luxurious. It's just satisfactory, I would say. The imitation leather looks really nice in photos and even video, I would say. But in person, maybe because I've been exposed or I'd, I've seen some designer leather. Can't really complain because it's under $100. So this con is a little bit difficult for me to justify. But if I were to have a con, I could see this leather kind of getting damaged easily with a lot of wear. And you can't really have too many expectations as far as the leather goes or everything else because this is under $100. It is from Uniqlo. So it's more so about the style, the silhouette, and the fit of the jacket as a whole. And I wouldn't worry too much about just the fabric and everything else because if you're trying to compare this to like a thousand dollar jacket you're just not going to get the same quality the pictures and the videos do make it look really luxurious and in person if you're looking at someone wearing this jacket from quite far away it's probably going to look really nice if you look at it closer and closer in person if it's like age or if it gets rainwater on it it may look a little damaged but you know now it's a vintage jacket but that was my only con to some their expectations might not be met based on the leather or the fabrics of this jacket but personally i think it's still a dope jacket all in all, I'm gonna say that the Uniqlo Stadium jacket is probably one of the best Letterman jackets you could get for under $100 for the fall winter season. What do you guys think about this jacket? Leave a comment below. Once again, my name's AJ. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, or even notification bell. Let go. Yer. Peace.